hello guys welcome to another grand interesting video on our be aware channel and you know in this today's grand interesting video we are going to explore about you know the agv default process flow so you know by the thumbnail and you know the title of the video you would have been able to know that what we will be discussing in our today's video right so we will be detailing out you know the impact of the process flow the advantages of the process flow which we already have available that is the default process flow which you look in this right side of the window right uh, we are talking about basic agb default process flow which we are going to you know tear down in this today's video so stay tuned with us till end of this video because it is going to be very informative and a great training related to agvs as we are going to use them as a task executor with just a one click of process flow there is no much traditional requirement required to be done as we do it by the conventional method you know so that's what we are going to learn today and you know it is going to be a very what we say adventurous journey so stay tuned with us so here you could look at this is our agv default process flow you know this is i haven't made any changes in this this is how it looks it is already available here okay so i will also show you that what are some changes and tweaks you need to do so that you can make this process flow functional you know we will discuss this with the onset of this video so thanks for joining with us on our channel be aware if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do subscribe it do share this video with your friends colleagues teachers you know so that they will also get a chance to educate themselves upgrade their skills in domain of you know industrial engineering technologies digital transformations and the list goes on on be aware so if you haven't visited our website beaverchannel.com do you know take a time to visit our website because we have bought a lot of informative and you know crystal clear content just for you you know it is ranging from health it is ranging till industrial engineering simulation lean six sigma and lot of stuffs personality development personal financing and lot of stuffs so do not forget to visit our website beaverchannel.com because it is definitely going to add value in your you know career in your life so let us begin you know in the next step that is understanding the model building that is training of basic agv so let me you know stop this model and let me reset this model you know and now what i just wanted to show you is this is the you know normal model we have created in the flexim you know and that is nothing but a simple model we are going to try out and you know if you want to learn how we are going to make this model i'll just show you by doing that down and then you know we can deep dive into our process flow of how we need to bring the process flows and the stuff in so you know what we are going to do we are going to bring a source then we are going to bring a queue and you know this is how it is done right so this part is this and then if you could look at what we are supposed to do is you know we are uh, going to go in the agvs you know and here is how the agv you know path looks like so here we do it and if you are supposed to you know connect this we are supposed to join the paths you know so that these are getting joined out you know i'm just joining it in a straight not looking so clear just like this what the main things i just wanted to show you is you know how to connect the you know control points so what i just want to show with the a connection you can connect this to your control point okay this means that your queue is now connected to this control point similarly we have connected to the queue too but if you connect this with a connection to another you know the uh, control point then what we are able to see is these many options 
we have already created a detailed video on AJBs, which is already available in our playlist of the Simulation. Simulation. You can check out for all these options in detail and any other stuff if you want to learn related to you can you know reach us out in the playlist which is already available on our channel if you have any queries related to this video you can drop us your comments in the comment section so there is one question let me know in the comment section what is the use of the spark points okay and how are these used for agv networking or agv related stuff so put your answers down in the comment section right so next to work point is what we have used in this because the model that is the basic AJ model works completely on this simple thing if you could zoom in you will be able to see that we have the entities of you know searching for the next work point and finding that out so this is how you are going to connect you know these stuffs in out like you can connect different control points with uh, you know next work lookup point and that is red in color so let me you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to just delete this and once I delete this we are again back to us so similarly what I've done is we have these control points in here you know I've connected this with you know uh, next work point and I've connected this task executor as travel AGV so if you want to see if I again this you need to do with the a connection and you have option here travel AGV connection that means then the travel uh, AGV is going to travel by using this control point okay so what we need to do is we need to transfer the material from Q1 to Q2 okay by the conventional method if you could remember what we need to do is we need to use this task executor the center object and then we need to create an output from Q1 to Q2 and then this you know AGV starts working but without using that you know you just need to go the process flow you need to come to add an object process flow here you need to select the basic AGV process flow and once you add the process flow it's all done you know the executor will start moving in here and there are some small tweaks we will be looking uh, you know ahead in the video once you do that your model will start working but it's that simple we have already created a video from source till material consumption and replenishment you know about default process flows on our you know be our channel you will get these videos available in our playlist so now let us understand the basic agv so the moment you're going to click in this you're going to get this process flow out in there uh, you know uh, which we are going to use for our stuffs now what we are going to do is uh, there is one thing which you need to do in order to make this process flow working is that you need to go, go in the Q1 Okay, when you go in the Q1 What do you need to do is you need to open the output of this queue? So double click on this queue go in the output You will be able to see that send to port you need to use to list push to item list and you need to use this AGV work because if you see work generation process flow here it works on based on you know, the list and the list is named as AG work list. So what you need to do is you need to transfer the parts into this list. So the moment the part comes into the list, they are initiated as you know the work for AGV. So this is one of the change you are supposed to do in order to make your you know uh, process flow functional. Now what happens is with this if you see uh, my AGV is going to you know run for like it is going to run even if you do not have the parts okay why he is running he is basically running in order to you know he is checking next work point okay and for that this is the main control loop which is working in the process flow what does this ensure as you know it ensures that the AGV continuously runs in a loop checking for the work from control points to control points and if there is work available just like we have the parts available in the Q1 it is going to you know execute our L that is this loop that is loading and unloading loop if we do not have a part in this queue just like we had it initially it is supposed to go from this bottom loop it's again going to check in the different control points it has to go and then it is again going to check for the item if it is available to be loaded so this is the function of the main control loop which works on this is how the loading and unloading works on and here if you see we have work generation 
but initially we go in just like the default process flow we use in we need to attach the objects and we, the object here attached is the task executor you know it is that symbol and now let us understand the work generation the moment we are going to get the part in the queue it's going to get pushed in the list and you know we are going to assign all this you know labels onto that and then we are going to you know uh, uh, basically we are going to assign a task so now if you see here at the start of this we are going to get the item from this global list okay and this is how the work generation stuffs are done okay and now if you look at the loading and unloading of this loop which is the most critical area you know based on which it works so what is happening you know if you see in the load item it's current token that item and item uh, container but if you look in the travel to destination you know this is what something else available with the old process flow old process flow in the sense the default process flow which we get as a basic agb the parameters are different so if i would like to show you if you see in the travel to destination here we have in world to 2 as null destination as current dot first destination if you look at the unload we have current dot first and here we have current dot first destination but this you're supposed to change then only you're going to have this model functional so what i've done is i've told this agb to travel to my q2 destination okay after it has loaded and then it has to unload the first part which is available to the q2 right so this is one thing i just wanted to also share one of the bonus trick if you want to use that right so say for example what you need to do is you need to move all your items the moment my agv goes here all of the items available in this queue will go like what i want to show you is let me uh, show you a 3d view right and if i run this model okay now what you are seeing is my q1 is getting stacked and my q2 is not getting stacked right it is smaller itself now what if i want to make q2 bigger and q1 smaller that is like whenever the q task to goes here all parts which are available in the q1 should be transferred here you know then what i'm going to do is the travel destination i'm going to change to q1 and the moment if you see what the change is going to be like now just look at this just look at this so this is the bonus for today's video all parts are directly transferred to the q2 the moment agb is going to reach our q1 wasn't it fascinating right so if i make the speed faster now you would be able to see it has been now vice versa initially q1 was getting stacked and q2 was not now q2 is getting stacked and q1 not so this is how you know you can manipulate or you can tweak the process flows and change the complete applications required for your use so for the time being let us change it to q2 so that we have you know q1 been stacked and we don't have q2 been stacked so this is how you know you can use this process flow it's very very powerful you know just there are some tweaks which we saw let us summarize what we did we went in a queue where we assigned you know an output we have you know told to basically assign it to a list then what we have done is in this process flow we have assigned you know the task executor and then what we have done is in this travel to destination stuff we have assigned the destination as q2 and involved to as current and in this unload item you have assigned you know current dot first and the station as q2 let me know if you need this model okay i can share it this model with you via email and if you have liked this video please guys do like it share it and subscribe it because it is really helping us to grow with you and reach larger audiences so that we can spread this to multiple peoples we have started industrial engineering videos onto our channel guys show a lot of love thanks for showing the love but that love is not sufficient we want more you know watch our industrial engineering videos so it motivates us to bring you that related contents and i don't think so such content is available anywhere else let me know your views in the comment section and we will be meeting in our next grand interesting video of training models and plexim at 
your favorite channel be aware so till then you're going to stay safe and keep learning let us meet another grand interesting video